Some of you may have heard about this meteor shower that's going to be happening Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. In fact, some of you may be watching this video with the article written below with lots of extra details. But let me just give you the forecast because that's what we do around here. Now, uh, generally, it's pretty easy to see these things when they are happening as long as the skies are clear. You just have to know the timing and roughly what to expect. So for this one, the best viewing is going to be right around 9 p.m. on Wednesday to very early on Thursday morning just as the sun is coming up. So this is not a not at a right at sunset situation. It really is later on in the evening when things really start to get going. Now the rate, the rate they judge these things on meteors per hour that you may be able to see. So find a quiet, dark place, look straight up. That's the best way to be able to see it. The issue is what's between your eyeballs and where the meteors are flying through the sky and through space, I should say, and that's going to be partly cloudy skies. So we call this 50%, meaning that roughly 50% of the sky will be covered with some level of clouds. Now, it's interesting to note that as the day unfolds, we have an increasing cloud situation. So really what you want to focus on is that earliest window, the 9 to 10 o'clock window versus the very end of it, because the clouds only get thicker and thicker, obscuring more and more of your view. So that's just our situation. Every meteor shower is different depending on the cloud cover. Now, at space.com, they put together this handy map showing you the conditions all over the country. And for our local area, they're calling it fair with clouds increasing. So again, time it out with the earlier part of the event. I would say uh, Wednesday night, which is tonight, roughly between 9 and maybe 11 p.m. is your best chance to see the Geminid meteor shower.